the recent Armenian American Health Professionals Organization dinner and lecture at Savan Restaurant in New York began with the welcoming remarks of APO President Dr. Larry Najarian. In his speech, Dr. Najarian outlined an overview of the state of the healthcare in Armenia through the NGO outreach initiative, including APO's medical mission program that has been taking place every year for several years. APO board member Dr. Arthur Kubikian recognized present APO members. The lecture of the day focused on the topic of introduction and applications of psychiatric pharmacogenomics presented by Dr. Carlo Bayraktarian. Dr. Bayrak Darian is a psychiatrist in Scarsdale, New York, and is affiliated with White Plains Hospital. He received his medical degree from Carroll DeVille University of Medicine and Pharmacy. He completed residency at New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center and a fellowship at New York Presbyterian Hospital. He has been in practice for more than 20 years. Why is it so important for you? It says psychiatric pharmacogenomics. Psychiatry. Anybody knows how many percent of the prescriptions in the United States are of the psychotropics. How many, what's the percentage of, of medications are psychotropics, psychiatric medications? 50 percent, give and take. 50 percent of the prescriptions in the United States are for mental health. Pharmacy, can you concur? Yeah. Right? 50 percent. Now, you think psychiatrists prescribe all those 50 percent? No, we're at the bottom, we're the poor people. The rest of the professions, 80% of psychotropic medications in the United States, 80% are prescribed by non-psychiatrists. So this is very important for you. You want to prescribe psychotropic medications? Don't go just in blindly what the drug rep brought you and what you have in your, in your cabinet. In his presentation, Dr. Bayrak Darian spoke about medication decisions, which is based on several factors, including family history and patient experience, among others, as well as current standard of care and trial and error to find the correct course of treatment. We're still going to use what the patient had before, what side effects of medications they had, what kind of a family history, how much money they spend on medications, what kind of other illnesses they have, are they taking their medications? So as a doctor, you have to, you have to have all those things in your mind. You still have to be a doctor. In order for you to make that decision, you have to have one more information. When I choose a drug, is it good for me? And what dosages? I have to prescribe. So when you make this, this genetic testing, the genetic testing is not going to tell you which medicine is more effective than others. The FDA already made that decision for us. They said all those medications that are approved, they are approved and they're efficacious. What this test is going to tell us, which medicine to prescribe, and what those to prescribe. That's it. The lecture touched on challenges of clinical practice, including lack of response from patients and side effects of the medications, among others. Dr. Bayrak Darian defined pharmacogenomics, which is a use of information about a person's genetic makeup or genome to choose the drugs and drug doses that are likely to work best for that particular person. He gave an in-depth medical overview of several factors that determine successful DNA and molecular treatment. Getting deeper into technical terminology, Dr. Bayrak Darian spoke about genes and alleles, central dogma of genetics, pharmacokinetics and drug metabolism, the serotonin transporter gene, and CYP450 system, which is a family of about 57 enzymes responsible for drug metabolism, primarily in the liver. Evaluation of a pharmacogenomic test, psychiatric pharmacogenomic clinical studies, and clinical utility. This is pharmacogenomics. Pharmacogenomics is the combination of pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. Pharmacodynamics, pharma, medication, dynamics, what does the medicine do to your body? So basically, in our case, what does the medicine will do to your brain? So this test will give us some information about what does the medicine do to the brain? Pharmacokinetics means pharma, medicine, kinetics, kinesis, how it moves. So how the medicine moves in the body. In our case, what happens in the liver? In the liver, we have two types of enzymes. We have the most important ones, which we call the P450 system, and the UGT enzymes. So the P450 system is very important in uh, our liver in terms of metabolizing those medications. Basically, we have 77, last time we count, enzymes, of which only few of them are important. 
The most important is the P450 3A4. 3A4, almost all medications are metabolized through the 3A4 system. 3A4 system is the least polymorphic, meaning there are no variations in terms of polymorphism. There are no variations in the 3A4. 95% of the population have the same 3A4 enzyme. What's very important is the 2D6. The 2D6 is the enzyme which has about 17 polymorphisms, different types of 2D6, and each and every one of us might have different uh, uh, expression of those um, uh, enzymes. Some of us are hypermetabolizers if you have more than one enzyme. Some of us might be intermediate. Some of us are poor metabolizers of medications. So 2D6 is one of the important medications. Almost 60% of medications are metabolized through the 2D6. So really it's a very important uh, isoenzyme to look into when we do our genetic testing. Dr. Bayrak Tarian also gave specific examples of three patients and their different treatments and listed names psychiatric pharmacogenomic testing companies. You should know by now which one is a normal metabolizer, which one is a hypermetabolizer, which one is a, a, a poor metabolizer. So let's say patient number one. Very well-known medicine, effects or venlafaxin, mm, average dose, look how happy he is, no side effects, full remission of his depression. Okay, he's a normal metabolizer, right? Let's see what happened here. This guy doubled the dose, he's running into side effects and there is no response. What's happening? Why? Is he hypermetabolizer or a low metabolizer? Poor. Poor metabolizer, it's accumulating in his body. He's running into side effects and he's not seeing any response. And this one, obviously, she's taking triple of the dose, full dose, no side effects and no response. Meaning the medicine is in and out, hypermetabolizer. She's chopping up this medicine like there is no tomorrow. So she's not, she's how frustrated it is. She's, she's, she's not, that's not the right medicine for her. A lively Q&A from the attendees followed as yet another highly informative event organized by Oppo came to a close.